Okay, so it's been a while since I've recorded a video. It's been a while since I have uploaded a video. I mean, by while, I mean like, like seven days, you know, a little over a week, maybe eight days, whatever. Either way, um, it's just been honestly a couple of weeks. <laughs> I am just honestly just mentally exhausted. Um, I will get right into what I want to do though first and then I'll talk about my whatever that way if you don't want to listen to my life update you don't have to you know I'll save you the trouble so anyways what I am opening today though is an itsy bag which is supposed to be my March ipsy bag and it is now April so shows you where we're at um, <laughs> But I just haven't had the time to record or wanted to record or anything like that. I just have been obviously in a mood. And I don't, I mean, that happens sometimes. I'm wearing the, my Shane Dawson me shirt. Do you see that? Yeah. You want to know why? Do you want me to tell you why? Because this is like his like trash. And I just, I, yeah, I literally just feel like trash lately. I try to do my makeup. You can't really tell. I did a little bit of it today because I was like, I should probably, like, at least try to do my makeup, try to be a little bit more positive, put a little bit of happy energy out there today. But honestly, if I'm being 100% for real with you guys, it's just been whatever. Anyway, sorry, we'll go back into this and then you guys don't have to deal with me. Um, So, this is the bag, though, which I really like and it says and off she went to change the world which i think is really inspiring and um i don't know it's just now i'm gonna i'm crying that's my own thing it's just i don't know it's nice it's nice this kind of like positive stuff you know um and it has a little star on it and if i'm gonna be honest that just reminds me of jeffree star and honestly just kind of how, um, watching some of those videos impacts me, um, along with Shane, obviously, like, you know, these people who just kind of made themselves famous, you know what I mean? Obviously, it took a lot of other people in their lives and encouragement and support from fans and people and whatever, but it's nice that these people who are honest and truthful about the hard times that they had before and the hard times they have now and like to see them go out and kind of like conquer their little bit of the world like they deserve it and that's that's really what this just reminds me of so here it is it's this really shiny this shiny color um it's like a rose gold is what i'm gonna call it if you would beg to differ that's on to you and then the top is blue with a star and again that just reminds me of jeffree star because he just launched that um blue blood collection so anyways <clears throat> moving on from that just so you guys can see this is me i'm opening the bag let me get out this little sheet um that tells me more information about what we're opening okay so <clears throat> I'm not going to follow the order of the sheet because this is the first thing I grabbed. So this is a Royal Langnickel Chic Rose Gold Blush Brush. If I said any of those words wrong, I apologize. But I am not fancy. And this says it's known for their, they're known for their lux, luxurious, I'm going to say luxurious, um, art brushes. Okay, they have ultra soft bristles that pick up just the right amount of pigment and blend color onto your skin so evenly. And the rose gold handle is so pretty. And then it just gives you a little tip on how to use it, which is sweep your brush into the powder, blush, and tap off any excess. Swirl the brush onto their cheeks in a circular motion and blend. I don't really wear blush that often, but I mean, I could always use it for really anything. Or I could start wearing blush, you know, if that's what I want it to do. I'm just going to take it out of the package just so you can see it real quick. It is it is really soft, though. That is right. I really want to buy Jeffree Star brushes just because I want to be able to support, like, what 
what he's achieving, what he's doing. Um, but until then, this is really soft, and I really appreciate that they gave it to me. <laughs> also, it matches. It looks really good with the bag. So, I was right when I called the bag rose gold. So, I'm not that stupid. Um, anyways, moving on. Ignore the ums. Oh, what is this? Okay, so this is Afra. Again, don't know if I'm saying that right. Cosmetics Star Island Highlighter. That sounds nice. Um, I'm going to open it real quick. I'm going to try to open it, but I want you guys to not know that I am struggling real hard to open this package. Um, no, I don't lift weights. I don't exercise properly. So here it is. It's Oh, it's actually really pretty. And I've been trying to wear a little bit more highlighter once in a while. I'm not wearing any today. It's been a day. Although, you can see like a little like, what's happening there if you want it to. But I didn't put anything there. <laughs> That's just because of the weird lighting. You know, dark my under eyes look and everything else anyways this is what it looks like it's really shiny it looks really pretty if you want i can do a little swatchy swatchy thingy for you Ooh, that's nice you're gonna and then i know that they always want you to do like other stuff with it but i'm just showing you what it looks like you can you see that can you i need better lights in here i was going to hook up um a thing you know i'll just put it on my face i was gonna hook up um a light thing but then I realized I didn't even charge it I should be sitting by a window but then I was trying to do this backdrop for you guys we'll talk about it at the end of the video um anyways this is what it is it says that they founded Afro Comedics to channel her love of makeup skincare through innovative high performance formulas like this highlighter this silky formula is infused with pearl pigments to illuminate your features so you're left with an incandescent glow and then it says using a fluffy brush apply your cupid's bow bridge of nose cheekbones chin and forehead sorry that i had to hold it like that in order for you to read how else would you like me to do it i don't know but that's what it was it's really pretty um i'm sorry damn it i should have had better lighting but we're already into it now so you know if you wanted to watch somebody else i'm opening this just for fun, really. I'm not doing this because I'm some crazy beauty guru. I would honestly just tell you to watch Jeffrey. Watch Jeffrey if you want to learn anything about makeup because I, that's, I just get my information from random things like that. Next is the City Limits. <clears throat> it says, oh, oh no, it does say City Limits. And then it says Ibby Beauty, I-B-Y Beauty. Um, it says this Velity Powder Shadow is a staple in our kit for creating a cut crease or using as a transition shade for a smoky eye. What's more, the formula is vegan, free of talc, mineral oil, and parabens, and is infused with rose hip seed oil to help protect the delicate skin on your lids. And then it just gives you a little 411 again of how you should use it. And then this is what the packaging looks like, which is actually pretty sleek, if you ask me. I kind of like it. And then this is the shade, which looks really pretty. Um, I'm going to just do a finger swatch again. So that's pretty. Again, I should have had better lighting. I apologize. Oh, that's really pretty. I really like this color, actually. I'm just now I just have it all over. Anyways, point is, it's really nice. I like it. Um, moving on. We got this <clears throat> Skin Iceland Berry Lip Fix. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna try to show it to you. I have no idea if it's focusing or not focusing. Um, but it says this brand's products are made to heal, rele relieve, and replenish stressed out skin. Made with wintered red algae, almond oil, shea butter, this berry scented lip balm nourishes dry chapped lips and coats them in long lasting moisture. And then it gives you a hint of how to use it, which is swipe onto bare lips for hydration, apply before lip color so it goes on nice and smooth. Um, and then it says mix some of your favorite lip colors to create a sheer satin. So I already have a little bit of something on my lips from today. But I'm just going to try to squeeze this out just so we can. It doesn't smell bad. Like, I don't really smell. I mean, I'm just going to put on my finger, which you might not be into. But 
it smells fine. It doesn't have a heavy smell, which I guess is good. Oh, I can smell it a little bit more than it's on my lips, though. It, it feels nice. <laughs> and it smells nice. It's not overpowering. Um, I don't, I don't hate it. So, I mean, I assume that it works well. It says it's limited edition. I don't know if that means that they have different flavors and this flavor particularly is limited edition or if just this particular thing in general is limited edition for that company. I mean, this is the last thing we're taking out of here. And it is called Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Fining Face Mask. Which I need because I have massive pores I can see. I do not like seeing pores. I do not like seeing blackheads. They drive me nuts on me and on anyone else. I just want to take them out of their skin. And like, I am not the best with skincare, obviously. If you'd see, like, this would have been solved already. But... You know, I do like if I can if I can solve the problem for like five dollars, you know, that's nice. I don't know how much this is, obviously, but let me read to you um what I'm reading to you. This brand was founded by sisters who share a passion for using rare Australian ingredients in skincare. Made with light pink Australian clay, this mask tightens pores, nixes excess oils, and leaves your skin feeling so smooth. Apply an even layer all over clear skin. Let it sit for 10 minutes. You might feel a slight tingle. Totally normal. Gently rinse off with warm water and pat your skin dry. So I'm just going to show you the little thing in case you guys just want to be able to actually read the brands and not rely on the way I pronounce them since I know I can't pronounce anything properly. I'm just going to open this. It has a seal on it just so I can get an idea of what it looks like. I'm obviously not going to use it right now, but... Maybe one day I could use it on a video, I guess. This is, so I just squeezed out a little tiny bit on my hand just to see what it's about. Um, ooh, it's, it's soft. Oh, I like the way it feels. It feels like, now it's feeling a little bit more like sticky, obviously, but I think that's because I didn't get my face wet. Apply on even labor. Oh, it says all over clean skin doesn't really say if I, maybe if I read it, it would say. Um, always touch, da, da, da. Okay, so it just says to, it doesn't say if your skin has to be wet or dry. Oh, okay, so it, now it's doing this. Oh, that's real. See, now it's, so now it's not sticky anymore. Now it's dry. That was fast. Um, and now I, look, it's not even budging, which is cool, because I assume that means that it's going to work then and help, you know, take out some impurities. Anyways, that was the end of my Ipsy unboxing. I'm going to put it all back in here. Um, I'm excited to try some of this stuff out, actually. I really... Maybe tonight... Should I... I don't know. Would you guys like to see me with a mask on my face? Or is that just stupid? Like, what are you doing? Because if so, I could re totally record a video with me putting on that mask. Um, <clears throat> again, I just... I really like this bag. I think it's really cute. And I had to stop. This is for National Women's History Month, it says. To celebrate, we loaded up your March glam bag with female-founded brands and girl boss staples. Learn about these trailblazing founders plus everything you need to know about your five Ipsy Shiro products <laughs> on Ipsy.com or the Ipsy app. This one's for all the women out there running the show, making history and helping us Look damn good along the way. So that's cute. And then it says, need more girl power? Says, check out the Ipsy Shop Shiro to score dozens of female founded brands we think you'll love. Two, our beauty quiz got a makeover. So you can head to their website and update us on your preferences. Now you can tell us even more about what you want, like how often to send certain items. Oh, that's nice of them. I had to cancel this because as you guys know, I don't have a job so I have no way of buying unboxing boxes of any kind that includes this one so <clears throat> my car honestly is just a little bit more important so as you know I haven't really been doing much of buying of things so I can't keep continuing with this bag I would like to but I would just at this moment in time I would like to save 
the like 10 bucks for something else like i know it's not a lot of money and you guys are probably like oh you're great like but my car payment is like just the car payment alone like not including insurance gas or anything is almost four hundred dollars so i just don't have the money otherwise um other than that let me do a quick uh life update i guess so i already told you a little bit i have this sheet up now i don't know if you guys like it or not do you feel like it's helping you guys focus on me better i have no idea but i'm there it is I personally liked having the Legos behind me. I think it added a little bit of character, but it's just a very small space that I'm trying to record in. Ideally, I would have a bigger space where like it could be like a blank canvas wall, but then maybe a few things behind me that I'm really into, like my Minecraft Legos <laughs> or I don't know, something something to express anything about me essentially cuz like a blank canvas is like nice and all and I know if like certain brands are picky about certain things that are on the internet but <clears throat> I don't know <clears throat> this is this is what we have now the bad part about where I'm sitting currently is as you can see without having my extra lighting anywhere else um, I don't get a lot of natural sunlight hitting my face so i have these really dark under eye circles sitting here you can barely see what's happening on my eyes um i don't know is that good is that bad i'll figure it out you know i should have planned a little bit more ahead for this video but to be honest with you like i said i've been having a lot of uh really raw emotions we'll call it that so my mental health check-in for this week is not good. And if you don't listen to a podcast called Is This Adulting, you should. It's a lot about mental health. But they also do, like, you know, funny little segments that aren't, like, too serious or anything. So it's nice to have, like, something that makes you laugh and not think about your mental health. But something that also is like, hey, we feel what you're feeling or other people might feel what you're feeling. So, you know... It's just nice to hear that because after the week that I've been having, I kind of just feel like no one does um, understand how I'm feeling. I feel like sometimes I'm freaking out because of personal stuff that I don't want to get into right now. But there is other stuff that like I could get into right now. And one of those things is that I haven't had a job, as you guys know. So I feel like every time anyone talks to me, or checks in with me that's like really important that they give me their opinion on my job life and I did put an application in the other day and hopefully I get a call back since I do need a job I need career I need money to fund me doing things that I like to do including YouTube and including like craft stuff and you know just to be able to go out and have fun and not rely on other people to pay for me because it's really annoying and everybody I feel like everybody treats me like I'm a burden, um, so I just prefer that they don't pay for me if I'm being honest. But anyways, um, I forget what I was talking about, but listen to Is This Adulting? It's a podcast. It's really good. They have a pretty supportive group of people. Um, besides that, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys pay attention to Jeffree Star at all. But recently, there was a video uploaded about how people, like, I guess black market people, stole a ton of makeup from the company. Which, by the way, guys, like, I know my little tiny opinion isn't as important as I want it to be. But, like, it's kind of grimy that you would take something away from someone that they worked so hard for. Does that make sense? Like... When you put effort into stuff, when you put your heart and soul and tears into a product, it's kind of, you know, it's, I'm not, so I haven't been able to buy any of Jeffree Star Cosmetics just because most of them are a little pricey and I have to want to cash out that kind of money, you know what I mean? But when you hear the explanation of the makeup 
and you know what's into the makeup and you know the love and time and the good ingredients that are in the makeup, you should want to support them. So the fact that someone out there was like, hey, we're just going to steal from this person's success and try to make it our own is so shady. Now, I looked online and I didn't see anybody around here selling any of it, any of the actual like concealer stuff. But at the same time, you know, maybe I just looked too late. And maybe there were. Maybe they're selling something else illegally. I don't know. I don't. I do see a lot of people in the marketplace, though, around me, which, by the way, I live in Pennsylvania. I see a lot of people in the marketplace around me that are selling the blue, uh, blue palette for a ton of money. Like, I think Jeffrey sells it for, like, maybe 50 some dollars if i'm correct and i'm not sure how much shipping and handling is off the actual website because as you know i haven't bought anything but the people have been selling it for like 100 150 and then are telling and then are writing things where they're like oh hey i could get more than just this one so like did that person go and stand in line and just buy a bunch at one time, you know what I mean? Like from a store or from the actual website? Or is, did they get their stuff off the black market or is it not even real? Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that someone can work to be successful and people still put them down. And I'm going to say the same thing about Shane. I'm going to say the same thing about Morgan because I... I know that Morgan and Shane, sometimes, like, they express how it gets to them, the things that people say or comment, and it just infuriates me that people attack their character, and, like, I'm, I'm sure they have some flaw that I don't know about, because I'm just 100% infatuated with them, and I think they're so amazing, and no one is usually as amazing as they seem, but they genuinely seem like good people, so it just drives me crazy when people... Put down people that I think, I don't know, are doing good or are trying to do good or are just genuinely not that bad of a human being. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, <clears throat> Lately, I've been feeling like everywhere I go isn't home to me. Um, As you know, I sleep between my actual house, like my dad's house my mom lives there, etc. And then, uh, Filer's house, my boyfriend. So, I kind of feel like I'm constantly in between and, like, none of these places are home. Like, I have stuff here, I have stuff there, but no matter where I am, I feel like mentally, emotionally, I'm drained for one reason or the other. And it might be my depression, it might be my anxiety. I just, lately, I haven't trusted a lot of people. I haven't wanted to hang out with people. I haven't wanted to talk to people. And I've been still doing it. I've been still making plans. Just yesterday, I went to a horse farm with uh, my friend Megan and my mom. Hi. Um, but in general, I just have, like, even there, like, I wasn't as happy as I wanted to be. I felt, like, rushed almost or, like, I had to, like, do something when all I really wanted to do was just, like, take in the animals and nature for a minute. And, like, partially might be my fault because, you know, of how, like, late we went. But I also didn't want to go too early and then just be hanging around because, <clears throat> you know, I'm not trying to spend too many hours outside of my house. Especially because it was, like, an hour, hour, 15 minutes down and an hour, hour, 15 minutes back. Um, give or take with traffic for the time of day and also I was behind people that I felt like didn't want me to make it anywhere I'll be honest with you but I don't know maybe that's just how they drive it's not my business because sometimes people probably think the same exact thing about me because there are times when I drive on back roads where I drive really slow just in hopes that I'll see like a deer in the cornfield and people probably hate that but I love deers I love animals I love all things which, by the way, I took um, some Harry Potter quizzes. Says I was a Ravenclaw. I haven't really watched Harry Potter. I know. Sin, sin. 
Um, but my teacher read me the first book in like fourth grade or something, and that was enough. That stuck with me, and after that, I didn't want to ruin it with any other books or any other movies. I also am lazy and sometimes don't watch or listen or read things that I should. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, so I was a Ravenclaw, so you guys, I imagine, know the good and bads about that. So take that in for a second. I'll get into that maybe more in like a, another video if you would want. Besides that, it said that my spirit animal guide, or whatever the hell they called it, was a deer, which honestly isn't, isn't not shocking to me. I really love deers. I love all animals, I'll be honest, but I do see deer a lot, and I look out for deer. I like them. I like groundhog. I just love, I love, I love literally 99% of creatures, and like, even when I hate a mosquito, I'm still like, I know all that mosquito is trying to do is feed its babies. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, I try to think of, like, the good. It's really easy for me to see the good in an animal and in, like, a creature or mother nature than it is for me to see in people, which is a big, big problem, especially lately. I haven't been trusting anyone. I haven't been wanting to talk to anyone. I feel like I don't even want to talk to, like, my friends or family or my boyfriend. I just don't. I don't feel like I fit in anywhere, and I don't know if that is mental illness if that is actually because people do suck sometimes and have proven to me that they suck, or if that's just because, you know, sometimes I just hate myself. Maybe it's just a me thing. Like, maybe I am just so insecure and so into my own world that, like, I just can't get past whatever my problems are. I don't know. Like, I'll be honest with you guys, some days... I am really struggling, and then some days I am, I'm okay, and I don't know, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, that's all I can say, is that I'm still on this planet Earth, I am still waking up every day, and no, it's not always at good timing, no, I'm not always doing the things I should be doing, but like, I'm still here, you know, the other day, Father's mom was talking to me and we were having a chat and it was nice and whatever and then she started asking me about my career situation and like I told her what I felt like um partially I partially the truth but also what I felt like I needed to tell her because I feel like when people ask you about your career or your job or why you don't have one or what's going on I kind of honestly I, like, said a little bit about my anxiety and how I wanted a job where other people worked, but I didn't explain the fact that, like, some days it's literally just hard for me to wake up, you know? Like, some days it is just hard for me to get out of bed and continue with this journey that we call life, and filling out applications is exhausting to me. Thinking about being at a job is exhausting to me. Thinking about having to pay bills is exhausting to me. Like, there are just days that literally the best I can do is take a damn shower. And that's it. And it just sounds, it sounds pathetic. And I know it does. But I'm in a couple different mental health things. And as I was talking about before, is this adulting? Um... Sometimes that's all you can do that day. And I don't know where mental health comes from. I don't know why I am the way I am. I don't even know why, like, how to fully fix the problem because, you know, I'm. It feels like it will always be something I have to battle with, no matter what pills I'm on, no matter what weed I smoke, no matter what beer I drink, no matter what happy things I listen to, no matter what sad things I listen to, I think it's always going to be an actual problem, and it's just scary to think that for the rest of my life, I could have mental breakdowns where I literally just snap. We had to go to a party the other weekend, and I obviously smoked before we went there. I have anxiety meds. But if I take even two of those, it, bam, it knocks me out. I get so tired. My heart starts racing. My eyes get more tired than they were before. And honestly, in my opinion, is worse than when I smoke weed, which I know is not everyone's cup of tea. And whatever is your 
thing is your thing and I don't want to down that. But just the way that it feels sometimes, it just, it really sucks. It's a really, it's a big blow to, to everything. But meds are cheaper than weed. So I'm still on anxiety meds. It's just that they don't always work how I want them to work. As you know, I'm not on depression pills because that was like 26 bucks a month. And I don't, <clears throat> I, I don't know. I thought I could do it on my own because I was having such issues with th those. Like, I, um, I don't really want to talk about it, but there was, like, I don't want to go into detail, I guess I should say, not yet, not now, but there was a time when I was on those pills where I still felt like I wanted to to die anyways you know like I don't know I don't know guys I like I want to be positive for you if you want me to tell you some positive stuff I probably can um I'm healthy as far as I know otherwise my jeep is still running thank gosh because that's my form of transportation I, my friend paid me back some money that I lent him with some interest, which is, I needed, you know, for my car payment and all that. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say everything is all bad, but there are just days and now is one of those times where I just have not been in it to win it. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I did put in an application. It went through this time. I didn't have a million issues like I had the last time I tried to do one. So maybe I'll get a job. Maybe that will help my happiness. Maybe that lack of stress of money and feeling like people are constantly judging me for not having a job will go away. I feel it all of the time. And are people judging me? Maybe yes, maybe no. But I need to start being more happy with myself that it doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to start being like, it really doesn't matter if I'm, if you want to judge me or not. Because you are not me and you're not in my brain and you don't know how hard it is sometimes. And I don't know. I also know I need to work past my brain. And, you know, it's the real world. You don't get to sit here and not work and not make an income. I've been working on trays with Megan, <laughs> slowly but surely. Um, if I can make those work, we can sell those for some money. Uh, they can be rolling trays. They could be beauty trays, something you just put your makeup on. The thing I like about it, for whatever you decide to use it for, is that as someone who goes from like room to room and is constantly running around like a chicken with its head cut off, and even in my case, I go from house to house. It is nice to have a tray where you could just put your little things on and be able to, like, move it somewhere. That's what I see the nice thing about it. But everybody, obviously, is different. And I don't know. If you want to buy them, hopefully they'll be done soon and we can come up with a design that you're interested in. And if not, then, like, that's cool. And if you're into it but not a design we have, maybe you could let us know and we can make the design. Which on another subject, guys, I would like YouTube to be some type of money income for me. In order for me to do that, I read the fine details. And I know that me cursing and all that is not going to fly. But what I need to worry about before that is that I need more subscribers. I need more likes. I need more people to watch my videos. So if you have any ideas of things that you want me to unbox that I could buy or ideas that I could do preferably free things that I could do right now that you would like to see me do let me know please let me know in the comments because I need more people to watch these I need more people to think that I am interested in some way you know what I mean and will they I don't know do I entertain myself sometimes yeah do I sometimes bore myself sometimes yeah you know what I mean I don't know but what I am telling you is that if you have any ideas of things that you would like to see me do let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you could subscribe to me, that would be great. Turns out you need a lot of subscribers before YouTube even considers making what you're doing uh, any type of money income for you. So if you could subscribe, that would help. If you could like my videos, that would help. Honestly, that stuff really helps me out. If you could share my videos. If you don't like this particular video, but there was another video that you liked that I worked on, let me know. I could do more of those. If you could share it, let me know. 
like I said, whatever you guys will be interested in within reason, okay? Um, let me know if you would like me to try to just film more videos of me doing stuff with people. I could do that. I was going to film yesterday at the horse farm. But like I said, I just, I ended up getting anxiety even doing that. So I, I took pictures though. So if you want to follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, um, I believe, do not quote me. I believe one of them is Disaster 369, and the other one might be Natural Disaster 39 or Natural Disaster 369. I am not sure. Ask me if you want to know. I'll have to figure it out because I clearly don't remember. I just started really getting into that stuff more now that I'm trying to like be a little bit more supportive of people that are doing independent stuff like podcasts or YouTube or their own makeup line or whatever the case may be. And in general, social media gives me a lot of anxiety. People's negative opinions and ideas really tear me down. So I have to step away from it sometimes. And I do do that sometimes. I feel like I'm always a little late to the post. Like someone will write on, some, will say something yesterday and I'll write about it today. But <clears throat> I mean, it is what it is. I just wanted to, I just wanted to, yeah. I guess that's, I guess that's the end of the video. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share, <clears throat> give me suggestions, um, forward me on to your Twitters and your Instagrams and find me and do whatever you want to do. Follow my life if you're at all interested. If you're not interested, follow people that I like. Is This Adulting? Great podcast. Shane Dawson, great human. Jeffree Star, great human. You know what I'm saying? Like, just Morgan Adams and just... All these people that I feel like need more credit for what they're doing. Um, there are a lot of podcasts that I listen to that I can name, which I don't really... Some of them are on and off. But Is This Adulting right now is just the number one thing that I've been listening to because of my mental health. So it would be great for you to listen to that. Also, A Date with Dateline is another one that I listen to a lot, which is obviously true crime related. I love true crime, so if you're into that, let me know. But... Um, that's a very good one. They are very funny girls. And I don't know, just support support someone today. You know, support a, a small business or a small group of people in some way that you can. And, you know, make someone else's life a little bit better. You know what I mean? Maybe do whatever it is, whatever you can do, whatever it is you feel like might be able to be the thing that you want to do. You know, just support people today. You know, go watch another YouTube channel if you want and support them today. I don't really even care. But something to just show that you don't need to already be some giant corporation in order for people to love you and care about you and to have people support you. And yeah, other than that, I'm going to, I guess, go now. It's getting pretty late. Tonight we plan on eating potses for dinner, which if you don't have potses where you live, it is essentially hot dogs and french fries with whatever junk you want on them. They have a lot of other things, but the main reason why I go there is for the hot dogs loaded with crap and the french fries loaded with crap because this girl likes crap. I did eat some eggs today, not like just egg whites or anything. I know that's like the healthier version, I think, but I ate an actual like two full eggs scrambled up with some spin and whatever else was in there. Um, anyways, I have to go now because my camera yelled at me, so I'm not even sure if this is recording right now. So, um, you know, have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye. Toodles.